Hi, good evening, and welcome to PJs with PJ, Pajama Talks with Pastor Jeannie. I am Pastor Jeannie Sortland, and I am the pastor at the Kensal United Methodist Church and St. John's United Methodist Church in Wimbledon, North Dakota. And so I'm glad that you're here to stop by for some of my informal, off-the-cuff comments from the day. And I was kind of hoping Solomon was going to help me today um, because I was going to ask him how things were at our house last night between mom and dad because the kids got to see a display that they rarely have ever seen. Um, Kent and I had an argument that just blew up immediately. Um, we rarely argue we're we're much more likely to just discuss whatever we're not agreeing about um but i think there was some pent up frustrations that i don't think we're alone in having um you know i try to i'm at home with the kids all day and i'm trying to get them to do their schoolwork and we're trying to get them to do chores and keep the house neater and it's just constant fighting battle fighting battle um all day long and Kent and I haven't gotten to have much time with each other and so we went to bed mad um and I know the bible says don't let the sun go down on your anger but we learned early on in our marriage that sometimes Jeannie just needs to go to bed because Jeannie is not at her best when she is tired and sometimes things will resolve themselves miraculously with a good night's sleep. However, I got up this morning and that was not the case. So um, a strategy that we've employed with the kids over the years, if we have a really rough start to our morning and everybody's fighting and we're late and everybody's mad, um, we will press the restart button on our day. We will leave the chaos of the morning and the stress of the morning behind us and we will start fresh. And that is what I proposed to Kent today because I don't know if we could even get to the root of what was causing our disagreement. And so we agreed to just leave that stuff behind us and press the reset button. And so today, as I went to God in my prayer chair, I searched for scriptures about um, disagreements. Because like I said, I'm guessing we are not the only couple or the only family that things are a little bit tenuous with. And in 2 Timothy, verses 23 through 25, there is some addressing of this have nothing to do with stupid and senseless controversies, or in some translations, controversies is arguments. So have nothing to do with stupid and senseless arguments. You know that they breed quarrels. And the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, but kindly to everyone. Okay, that's not saying when you go out of the house, then you're nice to people. It also says an apt teacher, teacher, patient, correcting opponents with gentleness. God may perhaps grant that they will repent and come to know the truth. And so God might even help you out that they might see the error of their ways if you're not writing their case the whole time. Um... So, yeah, I just feel like there's a lot of homes right now um, and the pressure cooker is on and we're building pressure. Um, we've got to release the poppycock, um, vent some of that that steam and pressure off. But then I did also, <laughs> in my search, good old Proverbs um, said, it is better to be in the desert than with a quarrelsome wife. <laughs> And it is better to be up on the corner of the roof than with a quarrelsome wife. And I got to thinking, yeah, my poor husband, because um, I think I was just spoiling for a fight. Um, 
So it's probably better off that he be in the desert or up on a corner of the house <laughs> instead of dealing with me. Um, but I, it goes both ways. I'm not just going to say it was just me. Um, so anyway, think about that a little bit, about ways to relieve the pressure. Um, I have been trying to exercise more, which apparently was not super effective in this case. Um, you know, spending more time in prayer, meditating, uh, yoga is good. Um, but be intentional about self-care and about how you are relieving stress during this very stressful and difficult time. So thanks for joining me tonight. And I pray that all of you will release some of the pressure in your relationships. Good night.